we're going to start feeding uh, uh, leopard geckos first, and then we're going to move on to the bearded dragons. Um, as we get started here, we're just going to get pickle a little air time. It's the star of the show. We could do a, a tour online at some point too, just kind of go through the room and show everything. So this is one of our males. He likes to hide in this little cave. His name is Fred, if you're asking. Oh, dubia ropes, there we go. It's a bug salad. That's it for him? Uh, yeah. Okay. So a couple of bugs every couple of days. Nice variety, oh. keep them nice and healthy. This is one of our rescues. He's actually still up for adoption if anybody wants him. Really cool leopard pattern on him. Yeah. He's probably one of the friendliest geckos we've ever had. He loves to eat. <laughs> All right. They're done. Now, who do we have in here? Oh, that is there's salt. There's salt. I always thought she had pretty eyes. Looker, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, and Dubia. Fan favorite. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and next, last but not up. least, Homer. He has the brightest colors of all the geckos that we have, so he's definitely one of our favorites. Oh, Ooh. geez. <laughs> Explosive. <laughs> and there we go. Ooh. Like a noodle, right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's gonna be time for bearded dragons. So might as well quick peek at a boa there. Yeah, the snakes are gonna be in a little while. So we have pickles here. Started the show. We got some old greens, a little dried out. We have to get those out of there. You gotta eat your salad a little better, bud. Stop being so picky. Yeah. All right. We have a super worm. Yeah. Oh, 
And always make sure that your dubia roaches are nice and dusted too. We use a mixture of uh, a vitamin powder and a calcium powder. Um, just kind of get everybody everything they need. And the bearded dragons always get at least two times more than what the fur geckos get because of how big they are. Yeah, these are these are what you would call uh, large dubia roaches. Um, they come in many different sizes, and you certainly wouldn't want to try to feed a lizard this big on you know just small dubia roaches because well you'd, you'd go through quite a few of them. Um, but by going with these large ones, probably three or four dubias, and they'd be about full. Yep. It's also on top of their sounds, of course. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, they need to have. Uh, well, as you get a little older, they actually it's better to feed them a little more greens and uh, uh, fruits and veggies. Um, than bugs. You know, make them work for it a little bit there. Um, but trying to diversify the diet a little bit. Okay, and then we have Tarzan down below. Where is he? Oh, hard to miss. There he is. Here. He's already excited. Oh, yeah. Look, he's watching. Yeah, he's watching the can. Do you want to come down here? Yeah, I'm for me a little lower. better view. There we go. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Can't let him get away. Yep. It's good stuff. Spotted it. Oh, you missed it. Never run uh. away. <laughs> Hopefully, he finds that one later. I guess. One of those save it for later snacks. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Midnight snack. Yeah. Dubia roaches are one of the only bugs that you actually can leave in the tank. Crickets will bite your reptiles if you leave them in there, so definitely be careful of that. Yep. Yeah. I'd watch out for super worms too. I really, I've seen them do some damage um, on like the backgrounds and some of some enclosures and stuff. So definitely super worms and crickets don't leave inside of enclosures. Yeah, super worms will burrow in anything they possibly can. Yeah. So we're going to make sure he demolishes this one. No trouble. <laughs> no trouble at all. That's good. Well, that's most of our... Uh, uh, and vertebrate eaters, uh, we're going to be doing our vertebrates later. That's going to be our uh, boa constrictors, our ball pythons, maybe even a hognose. Thanks for watching. <laughs>